How much time did you spend writing La Leyenda Negra? So I started writing that I want to say November of 2017 and the shooting script was more or less solidified by June, June 2018. And what was it that made you want to tell the story? I think it was after I met the, the kids at Compton High and a lot of them are were, were Latino and they go through what every other American teenager goes through, but also a lot of them have immigration statuses that are currently being revoked by this administration. Um, so I, I wanted to talk about that and kind of, you know, the, the fear and the insecurity and anxiety that they felt. What made writing this film either easier or more difficult than anything you'd ever done before? I think it was easier in the sense that it was just such a, um, it was such a pleasure to, you know, work with the kids and hang out with the kids and kind of, you know, play and collaborate with them. I mean, that, that was just fun. It was just, I mean, it was work as well, but it was, um, it was wonderful. It was a real pleasure. Um, and I think, I think the hardest thing about, about writing the script or was it more about making the film? Could be both. Okay. Or maybe just that you had to say goodbye to the kids at some point. <laughs> I'm sure that was. I mean, yeah, I mean, that is, it is true that you spend such a long time with a film that, you know, that you're writing it and then you're casting and then you're rehearsing and location scouting and then you're actually shooting it. That I think that when the film ends, you feel almost like you, you know, you're, you're bereft. You know, you feel like you've you've lost a loved a loved thing, you know, if not a loved one, but a loved thing when the film is concluded. And since you didn't expect to go to Sundance and then how did you announce the news to the these actors from Compton High that the film was going there? Um, I mean, I was very practical about it. I emailed everybody. Oh, okay, <laughs> <Just> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Saying good news. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then I think, and then of course, then we all met, you know, and then at Sundance and it was, you know, to see their like, you know, big wide eyed, um, joy was very special. How did you pitch the film to investors? Well, I was very lucky to have the support of the Kalu School Banking Foundation. So that helped a lot. That was like, to be honest, the majority of the film's budget. Um, and then, and then I did also have an executive producer, Juliana Politsky who um, she had, she already knew of my work, like she'd seen my short films before and she really liked them. And I think she, like, she really believed in me. Um, and so once we had like a first assembly, me and my editor, I sent her a link, to, a link to the film and she, and that's when she came on board as an executive producer. So she also helped a lot. And then obviously, you know, UCLA helped as well, you know, in terms of like providing equipment um, and, and that kind of like logistical support. And, but I wouldn't say that I really, I didn't really pitch to Juliana. I just kind of showed her the film <laughs> as opposed to pitching. Yeah. Oh, so you, did you have like a, a sizzle reel or anything like that when you showed it to her? Um, I showed her like the whole, the whole film. I just sent her a link to like a first edit. Oh, so she came on after you had already shot. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't understand that. Oh, okay. Is the film available for people to watch now? Um, it's on the festival circuit now. So, you know, hopefully it'll be coming to a town near you <laughs> in terms of um, uh, festival screenings. But we do have a sales agent and who, who's currently in talks with, you know, potential distributors.